All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah Kwarash. A double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, and uh, under Yahweh Shai, that starts with the Tabernacle of David. All right, and uh, that's the governing body of the nation of Yasha Allah. All right, which uh, in the world to come the kingdom of heaven, they will be the rulers. See, the government uh, that's going to be set up, the throne of David, okay? And that consists of the uh, 144,000 under Yahweh Shai, all right? And amongst that, the 12 disciples uh, will be uh, uh, at the head, you know, with the, the, the head man being David, which is Peter, see? And uh, like the Lord said, upon that rock would he establish his church. And that rock, ultimately, uh, as David slew Goliath with the rock, is the fulfillment of the house of David. Okay? And uh, that's what the Lord is going to establish on the earth. The throne of uh, David. And uh, within the throne of David, all right, um, there's a mindset. All right? And um, there's a way. You know, it's a history that uh, many people who you know take up the bible don't really consider you know as they go about to establish their own righteousness uh, uh, uh over the righteousness that has been set up by Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know they undermine the throne of David and its significance within the whole grand scheme of things in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's plan see the plan of the bible is finally you know uh as the you know end times you know are upon us the lord is eventually going to take down you know that fourth beast and that little horn that came from it this is this is right in prophecy as we go to the book of daniel the seventh chapter you know it gives you a list of the the, the beast different nations which would be heathen nations okay that will control the earth at particular times okay some control regions of the earth okay and had their time as kings and, you know, uh, uh, the dominant race or nation, you know, I should say. All right. But it is a race because these are races and different nations and nationalities of people who the Lord have at different times given rulerships. You see, but as far as the, 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 the rulership of the whole earth, there's only two nations that are, um, you know, uh, foretold to rule the, the earth in its entirety and, and the first being Esau all right who would have the fatness of the earth to do of heaven you know control over the resources control over the people's mind all right when you deal with government okay it just means uh control of the mind okay uh govern okay uh, uh to control all right mint going to the latin mentis i believe Okay, uh, 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 meaning your uh, mind, mente, to control your mind. And that's what we're going to do in the kingdom in righteousness. You see, but when you read prophecy, that fourth beast and that little horn, which is the revival of that ancient Roman Empire, would eventually fall and be destroyed. And what the Lord plans on doing is setting up the throne of David. Now, why don't Christians talk about the throne of David? Okay, and how can you say that any all of the nations are going to be in joint rulership with the Israelites if you're talking about and you believe in the Bible, which says the throne of David is going to be established? Now, the, the tabernacle of David is being rebuilt through the spirit. All right. But it's being built with the same spirit as, as it had in former time. You see, but this time they're going to have new bodies. Okay. And they're going to be perfect. Okay, and judgment, and they're going to get their reward. But see, that house, that tabernacle represented, all right, a, a mindset towards our people. See, you Israelites are the only people on the planet Earth who feel bad about being for your own people. You see? And in the scriptures, the Heavenly Father never meant for all nations to be one. He wanted things separate. He wanted the Earth to be ruled by a particular seed line, which whom on the Earth, Okay, the, the, the man Adam, it was through his loins, all right, that the, the both the righteous legacy, okay, and the wicked legacy 
was put into the earth, all right, through Cain and Abel, all right, and then Seth, okay? And the Lord has a plan for a particular seed leading all the way up to the nation of Israel, okay, uh, to rule the earth, to be the dominant race, all right, nation of people, their way would be different and above and separate from the ways of the heathen. The Lord gave his ways only to one people, and he's going to have the earth ran by those people with that way. And that's point blank period what the Heavenly Father is going to establish, the throne of David. As in the days of old, it is being built. And when you deal with David's throne, no heathen was in joint rulership with him. All right, now once David had subdued the heathen, okay, which he beat them down. He beat them to powder. He rejoiced over their downfall. See? The 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 mainly the, the Moabites, the Edomites, okay, the uh the the uh, uh the Philistines. Because he was at war with them the most. And we're at war with them today. In spirit. You see, all of these nations have been gathered uh, together against us, and they don't have our interest. But the first thing an Israelite wants to do when they find out they're an, an Israelite is to make a big deal for them to join our covenant. When the Heavenly Father chose you to lead them, he didn't choose you, uh, them to be joint rulers with you. He chose you to rule them and govern them in the way of righteousness because they weren't given the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But he set up his only begotten son in that ride or die body, those first fruit spirits, to be at the forefront of everything. But that line, that lineage, the nation of Israel, okay, uh, 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 going back to the promise given from the Most High through Melchizedek to Abraham. So we can't leave out Melchizedek. A lot of people love to just say, like, they can just get straight to the Most High. As if your father, Abraham, all right, who we call the father of the promise, right? had to go through uh, 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 Melchizedek, the mediator, the high priest in the heavens, <laughs> all right? And he came onto the earth and was the first high priest, all right, Adam, but he failed, you see? But now we have been brought back to that understanding, all right, through that very breath that was breathing, Adam, okay, which leads us to life, the breath of life. We weren't living until we, we found this truth, man. So to to want to share that way in a, in a, in a very tacky sense is, is wicked. Why would you want to share the covenant? The covenant is for the Israelites. You see, th there was the first covenant, okay, when the Heavenly Father via Moses and Aaron, all right, brought us the Israelites the uh, 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 the laws through the Most High through His mediator, all right, His mediator in the heavens, who was in that chariot, His angel. He was there, dealing with Moses, all right, speaking directly to Moses through the mo uh, from the Most High through His word, man. So Moses gave us the law, right? Him and Aaron, Aaron served as high priest. Okay, we broke that covenant. All right, now there's a, a, a new covenant. All right, that's established upon better promises to where those ways will be in our inward parts. You see, they will be in our inward parts and we will never separate from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh again. Now, how can you say the heathen are going to be partakers of that blessing? How can a heathen partake in that blessing that doesn't make sense who are we going to judge the scriptures say we're not going to teach any more israelites once we get into that new covenant once we purge out those rebels from that point on all israel will be in the covenant meaning directly uh uh, uh directly and correctly you know doing this doing the truth they're going to be programmed to do righteousness See, when we're saying the heathen can't be saved, when we say the heathen ain't going to make it, yeah, they're going to be there, but they're not going to have the blessing you have, okay? They're not going to have everlasting life. They're not going to have new bodies. They're not going to uh, uh, be uh, riding on chariots and 
you know, being able to do, you know, no, they're going to be fleshly. You see? Now, they're, you know, I'm pretty sure we'll have a source of transportation, you know, within, you know, uh, 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 their measure, but they're not going to be on our level, man. They're going to they're going to need to be uh, they're going to ask for loans. The scriptures say that when you read uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it says you're going to lend to many nations. Like right now, when you want a house, you got to go get a loan. Who, who do you go to to get that loan? Esau. You see, well, in the kingdom of heaven, we are going to be doing the lending and we're going to do everything in righteousness. We're not going to use this wicked fractional reserve. Uh, uh, now, you can lend usury upon the heathen in the scriptures all right in particular instances but this is the thing you we did it in righteousness still it wasn't oh, to a point to where it just was absolutely wicked like this man does we're not going to rule like this man however we will be the dominant okay we will uh, uh the scriptures say the heathen are going to look at us and say this is the people blessed by the most high could you imagine First of all, we get beamed up into the chariot, right? Great destruction. And the people that is still going to be people on the earth, heathen in particular, Jake. Imagine, imagine what those elites and the people that are still on the earth are going to be thinking, seeing this. The chariots up there, war, you know, the destruction of, 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 of Esau's military and his, his angels, you know? And then to see us up there you know, as we got beamed up, as everything, you know, the fire, you know, uh, on America, Babylon, who knows how long we're going to be up there? <laughs> I often think about that. How long is that ceremony? Because, you know, we have to uh, get crowned. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to set a crown. So, you know, that's not going to be no short, you know, uh, 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 no short. Uh, hold up. Give me one second. You know, that's not going to be no short. Uh, 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 you know, family reunion because that's that's basically what's gonna happen. You know, first fruit spirits who were chosen, you know, from the foundation of the earth. You know, the Alahayim and the rest of those chosen spirits who rejoiced. You know, before this earth was even you know created, rejoiced, helped in making it, and rejoiced in the process, man. You know, this is a legacy going back for ages, man. All right. And we've came onto the earth and we fell. But now the heavenly father, you know, after that great falling away. All right. And our great judgment that we had to go through. All right. The Lord has now returned our legacy unto us, man, so that we could come back into that order. OK. And, 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 and be the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Through Adam, the second Adam, as the scriptures say. All right, to ultimately uh, 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 lead this lead this earth to paradise, okay? Because this earth is a beautiful vessel. If it had the right rulership, see, the Lord has allowed particular rulerships on the earth, okay? Particular heathen to rule on the earth, okay? And look what it is ultimately led to, okay? Be honest with yourself. Look, look at what 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 uh, the, the the earth has been uh, 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 led to under this wicked rulership, man. It's dead, all right? Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Shai, now, as he promised, he's going to set up a profitable, okay, uh, 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 leader and ruler to rule over this earth so that it can be enjoyed. And under us, under the throne of David, okay, which the, the throne of David is ultimately what the kingdom of heaven is. Everybody's talking about heaven, but nobody wants to talk about the throne of David, man. Nobody. That's the when is the last time you went and a Christian was talking about the throne of David. You went to church or you've been talking to somebody, I can't wait for the throne of David to be established. A Bible believer. Nobody's talking about it. We're the only ones. <laughs> you know? So a beautiful thing is happening in the planet Earth in the form of, of this truth, this tabernacle being built, because now you can see that it's shaking this place. This place is being shaken up by this word. OK, and hey, man, uh, 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 there's judgment going out. 
Okay? All types of judgment is going out. People are losing. See? And the Israelites, although we in hell, and we are catching hell, don't, don't get it twisted, but we're, we're comforted, man. We're good. As much as you can complain about, look, with, look what you're about to come into. Look what you're about to uh, partake in. Even you women. If you if the if you be saved for Israelite, do you imagine? Can you imagine the things that you're gonna have access to through this man? <laughs> Come on, man. Far better. Everybody's gonna be in a better position. The bees, okay, everything is gonna be able to function as it was intended to function under the throne of David being established. No other uh, uh, throne or dominion has offered this to the earth. All right, and, it, and, it, and it's set up directly in the heavens. See, this whole thing, all right, was uh, 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 pretty much, when you deal with it, this whole thing that we're uh, establishing started in the heavens. You see, that's why the scriptures talk about heavenly Jerusalem. You see, we literally are those spirits, you know, because you got to think, it says chosen from the foundation of the earth, man. So if you chosen from the foundation of the earth, that means, shh, <laughs> you know? So that heavenly throne is now going to be established in the earth under Yahweh Shai, man. The high priest. Can you imagine what, we, what we're getting ready to witness, what we're getting ready to come into? So with that, all right, hopefully I edify Shalom.